What is the best way to introduce yourself in English? Let's find out. What's up, guys? My name is Shane, and today we are talking about introducing ourselves in English. This is a very important skill to have because it's very likely that you might be asked to introduce yourself in many different situations. For example, some might be more formal, like at work or if you're public speaking, and then some situations might be less formal, like if you meet someone at a party. So today, we talk about some informal ways and some formal ways to introduce yourself in English. And make sure you watch until the end of the video so you can see me introduce myself in a formal way and in an informal way. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we normally say when we meet someone is hello, right? So some informal ways to say hello could be hi or hey. Hi or hey. And then after you've said hi or hey, you can either say, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Or you could say, what's up? Hi, what's up? Hey, what's up? These phrases are normally used when you're talking to just one person. If you're talking to many people, you can just say everybody after hi or after hey. For example, hi everybody, how are you? Hey everybody, what's up? Now, if you want to say hello formally, normally we have three choices. You can say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Good morning we use before 12 p.m., before noon. Good afternoon we use between 12 p.m. and about 4 or 5 p.m. And after 5 p.m., we normally use good evening. So make sure when you're using these phrases, you look at the time first. And you don't say good morning when it's evening, or you don't say good evening when it's in the morning. And if you want to use these phrases with a big group of people, you can just add everybody at the end. For example, good morning everybody, good afternoon everybody, or good evening everybody. Now we have said hello to whoever we're talking to. Now we need to say our name. So a formal way to say your name is, my name is. My name is. So for me, I would say, my name is Shane. A less formal way we can use is just, I'm. And then you say your name. So for me, I would say, I'm Shane. I'm Shane. Some other different ways to say your name are you can call me and then you say your name. So for me, I would say you can call me Shane. You could say my friends call me and then you say your name. So for me, I would say my friends call me Shane. And I know that in some cultures, people have nicknames. So you could also say my nickname is. My nickname is. I don't have a nickname, so let's just pretend my nickname is Shane. I could say, my nickname is Shane. You've said hello, you've said your name, now it's time to say where you are from. I know you know how to say, I'm from. So let's look at some more interesting phrases we can use. The most common phrases here are not really formal and they're not really informal, they're just normal phrases. The first one you could use is, I grew up in, and then you say the country. Grew up means where you were born, where you became a child, and then where you became an adult. So for me, I would say, I grew up in Australia. I grew up in Australia. That means I was born here, I was a child here, and then I became an adult here. The second phrase you could use if you were born in one country and then moved to another country. You could say, I was born in, and then I moved to, for. So for me, I could say, I was born in Australia, and then I moved to America for work. 
So this means I was born in Australia. I probably grew up in Australia, and then I moved to another country for work. Please note that this step is optional. There are some situations where you would not say where you're from. For example, I am Australian. So if I met another person who is Australian and we were talking, I probably wouldn't say where I'm from because the Australian person would already know where I'm from. So if I said I'm from Australia, it would sound a little bit weird because they already know I'm from Australia. We've said hello, we've said our name, and we've said where we are from. So now it's time to talk about work. And when we talk about work, you can use basic phrases like "I'm a," for me, "I'm a teacher," or you could say something like "I work in a." So for me, I work in a school. These phrases are okay, but for me, a more interesting way to talk about your job is to say how long you've been doing it for and what you've been doing. So for me, I could say for the past six years, I've been helping students improve their English. This is a much more interesting way of saying I'm a teacher, right? A more formal phrase you could use to talk about your job is. I work in the industry. I work in the industry. So for me, I work in the education industry. I work in the education industry. Maybe you are an engineer, so you could say I work in the engineering industry. I work in the engineering industry. Another more formal phrase you could use is my job involves. My job involves. So for me, I could say my job involves teaching English to students whose first language isn't English. Or maybe you are an engineer. You could say my job involves designing buildings or making plans for bridges or whatever you're designing. Now you've said hello, your name. Where you're from and your job, it's time to start saying something a little bit more interesting that could maybe start a conversation with the other person. And I think an interesting thing to say is what your goals are for the future, what you want to do in the future. The following phrases aren't really informal or formal; they're just normal phrases. So a phrase you could use is "I would like to." I would like to. So, for example, you could say, "I would like to be a millionaire in the future," or you could say, "I would like to be a professional athlete in the future." Another phrase you could use is, "My goal for the future is." Goal for the future means, "What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to do in the future?" So you could say something like, "My goal for the future is to be a millionaire," or "My goal for the future is to help everyone on this planet learn English." Now we are almost done. We've got one last thing to say. I believe that the last thing you should say is something interesting about yourself that could also maybe start a conversation with the person. Or people that you are talking to, and the following phrases aren't really formal or informal; they're just normal phrases. The first thing you could say is something you probably wouldn't guess about me is something you probably wouldn't guess about me is, and then you say something interesting about yourself. Something you probably wouldn't guess means if the other person looks at you, what wouldn't they think? About you, what wouldn't they know about you? What wouldn't they expect about you? I'll give you an example. Something you wouldn't guess about me is that I like heavy metal music, music with fast drumming, fast guitars, and heavy vocals. So if you look look at me, you probably wouldn't know that I like heavy metal music, right? 
Another way you could say that is, would you believe me if I told you that? Would you believe me if I told you that? And then you say something interesting about yourself. So for me, I could say, would you believe me if I told you that I lived overseas for two years and taught English to people whose first language wasn't English? Would you believe me? Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Shane and I grew up in Australia, but when I was about 25, I went overseas for work and I just recently got back to Australia. For the past six years, I've been helping students learn English who want to travel overseas and use English for work. In the future, I want to be a millionaire so I can help people who aren't as well off as me. And something you probably wouldn't guess about me is that I love heavy metal music. So if you listen to that example, you would have heard that I use a lot of connected speech, I talk quite quickly, and I use some contractions like what's or I'm. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shane, and I grew up in Australia. At the moment, I'm working in the education industry. And in the future, I would like to be a millionaire. And something that you probably wouldn't know about me is that I used to live overseas teaching English to adults. So if you listen to that formal example, you would have heard that I speak quite slowly. I try not to use much connected speech and I use more formal language. For example, I said would and not want, and I said I'm working in the education industry. I didn't just say I'm a teacher.